Jerome Sale is there for us this evening. Jerome. Geraldine, yes, there's a buzz about Silverstone. It's not just the helicopter traffic still in the skies or the cars still going around the circuit. It's because there's a long-term future for the British Grand Prix. Three days of racing for this year has started today. But, of course, the race itself and the associated industries bring in countless millions into the local economy. Thousands of engineering jobs, for example, depend on motorsport, Formula One, and in particular, the British Grand Prix. And it's not just jobs in the engineering sector, countless other sectors as well, as Emma Vardy explains. It's arguably the most expensive and high-tech sport on the planet. And for one weekend each year, Silverstone takes centre stage. But behind the glamour of race day is an industry that's brought thousands of jobs to Oxfordshire. Many local companies supply parts and services to the cars we see on the track. These nuts and bolts support the economy of the region. Formula One's incredibly important to businesses in the Thames Valley. A lot of people's livelihoods in this area come from Formula One. There are lots of teams in the area working in Formula One, lots of businesses working for those teams in Formula One. And it's really helped uh, a lot of the businesses uh, work through the recession. Last year, 320,000 people visited Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. £54 million pounds is spent, most of which goes into the track's neighbouring counties like Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire. Here at the Zerkatech plant in Abingdon, they supply almost every team on the grid with a unique ceramic substance used to protect parts from heat. And Alex Samler knows the trade as good as any. He's been working on Formula One for nearly a quarter of a century. Quite good sitting down on a Sunday afternoon and watching the cars go around the track and think, well, I've done something on that one, that one, that one, you know. It is a, a fairly large proportion of our business and it's something, you know, if you turn around and tell sort of other customers that we do work for Formula One, uh, it is a prestige thing. But the business is shrouded in secrecy. Companies like this are under strict orders not to allow information to slip to rival teams. You know, it's all kept well hidden away while we're going through the process sort of thing. Uh, not only could the teams lose a lot of money, uh, ideas being pinched, uh, we could as well. As the race to develop cars grows ever more competitive, companies must stay on top of their game to ensure the region remains in the lead. Emma Vardy, BBC Oxford News. Well, the British Grand Prix meeting then is well underway here and already the stands have been packed for today, the first day of practice. It's been quite incredible. It does look as if it's going to be one of the busiest British Grand Prix meetings here that Silverstone has ever seen. And if you've got a ticket for Sunday in sweltering conditions, well, it might just be the hottest ticket in town. Geraldine, back to you. Thanks, Jerome. And there'll be more from Jerome later in the programme.